Hi guys, it's the Crafty Kiwi here, and today we're going to make this xylophone card here. Okay, so to get started, first you will need scissors or like a guillotine, a piece of white, like a card board for your card, like to put it on, a popsicle stick, a circle punch out, or you can just cut a circle, colored paper for the xylophone sticks, if that makes any sense. Keys, that would work for it. To start off with, I'm going to cut my rectangles. I have measured my card so I know that how long this needs to be to be able to fit on top onto my card to have all of my colours on because you don't really want one shorter than the other kind of thing. Okay, so now that I've cut all my rectangles and laid them out in the order that I want, I've also cut them to sizes. You'll notice that one's larger than the other. I'm now rounding off the edges to look more like the rounded edges and the keys of the xylophone. Okay, so now I'm going to stick all of my xylophone keys onto the card. Just make sure you don't do what I did and stick them all on with the card opening the wrong way. Because then it's really annoying to try and take off again when you figure it out. Okay, so now wedging the little kind of dots maybe onto the card or if you want you can just in it. I use these, I don't know what you call them, but sticking pins. If that makes any sense, you see them, so you get it. Taking my popsicle stick and sticking that down, and then I'm going to cut out a cir green circle with my circle puncher, where you can cut it out by hand and sticking that on to make a xylophone kind of object. And thank you for watching. If you like the video, like it down below and comment on whether you like cards like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye.